Recording is on. So for today's Plenty CMS check-in, uh, I want to take a look at some of the work that Jesse had done recently <clears throat> in fixing some bugs with the CMS. So um, I saw a lot of the design decisions you're making through the PR, Jesse. It looked awesome. So a, a couple of notable improvements. Um, one is when we're creating new content. So we have this new content workflow that we're working on. Um, and instead of uh, setting up these kind of protected routes um, that are only for users, uh, you, you, I mean, it's still only for users, but you're using a hash-based routing instead of a like a uh, subsection-based routing, which allows you to do like page refreshes. So before, if you were on one of those ad routes and you refreshed, you would no longer have the server generated. Well, so now we have it so you can like refresh and start over. That's great. Um, you also did some cool stuff. It looked like you are checking, you know, uh, with existing uh, content objects to see if the page has already been created. And then you're mm. taking someone to edit that page if it already exists based on the file name. So that's really cool. Um, the stuff's awesome. So I wanted to, to just like share a screen and take a look at some of this and maybe talk through it. Um, I was noticing a couple interesting things on my end. And maybe you have some ideas about what's going on. So let me yep. just uh, share my screen. Let me see my plenty site here. Yeah, I see it. So just a couple things to note. Um, so this is a default plenty site here. Um, uh, be previously, when I was creating new sites, um, we were not getting the underscore blueprint files that were coming from the default starter. So there was a bug that I have since fixed and just pushed up um, over here. So uh, I noted it in issue 195. Basically, the learner starter was not including any files with underscores. This would had something to do with how Golang does its embed um, file system. So I basically updated this so it actually... Uh, includes the embed uh, files that have underscores. So that should be working now. So when you create a plenty new site, um, like this command here, plenty new site, my site, you should get those files now. So that wasn't working before, but it should be okay now. Um, um, and that's probably going out, out not unnoticed because um, you ha we haven't really used the blueprints. Yeah, exa exactly. There's so many things that, and I've been fixing bugs around blueprints for a while because yeah, they were hanging out for like a long time as a concept that had no functional, you know, impact on the site. So, um, so yeah, that was one thing that was off. Another thing that was off previously was, you know, blueprints weren't getting started with, um, you know, uh, like opening and closing curly brackets, which is needed for to be valid JSON and and the way that our system reads things. So that was another thing. So these things are are slowly getting flushed out, but I think that should be better now. So this is like a site. I basically created a new site here. Um, th these blueprints should be added. I updated the blueprints a little bit to give a little more information. But then I just started the web server. So um, this is a site right here. Uh, oh, actually, you know, I think I have to. Um, let me do this. I'm, I'm going to use another site. So I didn't actually set up the auth for that site yet. So let me, um, I'm going to log into a, another site. And then I should be able to use the auth on that. So let me just uh, let me come back here and. Reload this. Okay, and okay. So this is this is another site here, right? Um, and I think I can actually use that the auth information if I start up this server again. So let me start the the default site and see if I can get that working. I just want to take a look at this. How okay? So I'm I'm kind of stealing the auth from the other site, but this is so this is the um the default starter here. Um, you know, you can see it like normal. You can come here and you add, and it recognizes the uh, the two starter. Uh, content type. So there's pages and there's blog. Now yep. blog is working great. So if I click on blog and I say new blog, and I set file name, it starts over here. It has the, the blog. So I, you know, I started um, uh, a content object that says blog post title, and then it has, you know, placeholder text and then your name and, and whatever, right? So this is working great. This is how I'd expect it to work. Um, you know, you can come here and update this. And then I haven't actually tested the publisher workflow. Of course, this is going to the wrong repo, so I'm not going to bother, but that looks really really good. Um, and you get the server refresh, right? So I can refresh the page and this will still work this way, which is great. Um, one thing that I notice uh, when I'm when I'm doing this is if I'm on any page and I try to add a page, however, it seems to be setting the file type of uh, the index file. So if I come over here and I add it, it, it opens up the, the index file here um, with the default information for the index file versus um, Let's see. Oh, okay. So there might be a bug, or there is a bug there. Yeah, and I'm not. Maybe you, you have an idea of what's going on. Um, it, I'm not sure if it's just matching the wrong information, but I was hoping that you know, like, so the pages it would it should get this you know 
page title, placeholder description, your name. Uh, mm -hmm. But instead, it's getting the index for some reason. Um, and I was noticing that. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure what the difference is between, you know, blog or, or page. And also, you know, here's another note. It's great that you're resetting the file name. So that looks great. So you could like come here um, and you could uh, you could add a bunch of blog posts in a row. So this would, you know, be really easy. Here's the first one, you know, set this, do some information. You, you could save it and then you could come back here, add another one. Mm. And it, and it works great. So this is this part is working excellent. So great job on on all that. I'm just curious, like, what might be happening on the pages, and for some reason that's that's getting indexed, and I'm not sure what's going on there. There's, um, is there multiple blueprints for page pages? I don't think so. This is the the all blueprint files. Is kind of what you're thinking, uh, yeah. or or yeah. So I'm I'm not sure. One pages uh, blueprint. Um, hmm. And let me um let me pull up the other test site I have here because it, it's doing the same thing. But it, so let me um I'm gonna this is the the site that we were using to test things before Jesse pushing back and forth to the the repo. So let me just like load that so we can take a look at that real quick. Um, so this is test again. So yeah, this one it, it was doing that for for most of the the content type. So I had a, had pages test and yo. So pages again the same thing is happening there, um, but it's also happening for test. And yo, so I'm I'm not sure what the what the commonality is between those and why blogs works well and these other ones are not working that way. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I I only used blog blog for blog type for testing, so ah, gotcha. That's the reason why it doesn't work with others, but uh, yeah, should I should have created it like generic? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's got to, it has to have something I would imagine to do with like, and I haven't uh, had a, a ton of time to like deep dive deep into this, but I imagine it's something to do with how these routes are getting set up and how we're actually loading, loading the content or loading um, the layout. Cause I mean, so both are, are wrong, right? So like we're getting, at least we're getting a match here, right? So we're getting the index layout and the index content. So it, they are, it's not like erroring out, I don't think, although there might be some errors here. Let's see. Maybe it's just like uh, ordering of the routing. Order yeah. of routing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. But this is, sorry, this is old though. Yeah. That, this uh, this must have cached something old. Hold on. Uh... Oh, because I already had a file with test stats. That's yeah. why. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> it, it's yeah. working too well. It go, goes to the uh, page you already have if you already have the page with yep. that. Yeah, which is which is great. I wonder if at some point, and I can take a look at this. Like, if I were to do that, um, so like, uh, so test test exists, right? And so it's going to edit that page. I wonder if I, you know, maybe like somewhere, and this is um, something that I might be able to. Yeah, okay, and we're getting some error here, but we can we can take a look at that later. Um, I wonder if uh, it makes sense maybe um, for me to add like a warning here. So if I do test, like it says, like maybe like kind of like the same kind of validation warning, like you get if you, you know, mess up a file name, but then then give you like a link to go edit that page. I don't know. That's something that we can think through. But um, yeah. so, yeah, I, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, uh, with, with only the blog file uh, content type working and the other stuff's not. I'm not sure why that's happening, but I was wondering, curious if you had ideas, but it might take some investigation, huh? Yeah, I, I don't have a, an immediate like idea why would that be but yeah oh i mean overall i think this is this is great i just want to take a look here um at the pr so we can do this for the recording um yeah everything here uh looked great um um yeah so like the um uh so we have the create page only if it doesn't exist already so that was um what we're talking about there where you edit a page if it uh if it was already existing so you go here and you're basically checking against the all content uh all yeah. content and you're finding if the the file name exists which is great i think that's a really cool uh feature um deep cloning i think this is great so this was the problem with the objects that we're having on the last meeting for anyone who's tuning in um so essentially every time i would update the blueprint uh file like for example you know 
uh, updating one of those and changing the text here, it would always have that change text, but you're deep cloning it now. So this gets refreshed every time that we go. So that, that looks awesome. Um, some of this other stuff, uh, using hash location. So that's what we're talking about here. So instead of, um, before this was, uh, it was routing something like, uh, add page or something like that. Right. And so if you go to that, you get in your server refresh, you get something like this. Uh, we don't have to worry about that anymore because you're getting great routes that look like this. So this, and I can reload this and it reloads fine. So that's great. Um, that's what we're doing here. And what else we have? Clear file name and then clear file name. So that's like when I come back and I try to add a new page after I've done it. So this file name is blank. So yeah, so I mean, that basically covers, I think the, the PR. Um, I love all the features. I think that um, it's gonna be a much better experience. I think we just have to figure out what's going on with the, the content type bug. I don't know how yeah. pervasive that will be, but yeah. Mm. Cool. Um, well, well, thank you for doing that stuff. <laughs> um, is there any other like comments or questions or things you want to take a look at today? Or is this um, not at the moment? I think I should take a look at that bug if I have time and then start with the image image things. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I know there's a lot of image things to do. That's a, a big undertaking. So, I yeah, I think, for example, it's one of the first things to do. Yeah. In that area. Yep. And I know I I could probably help a little bit on some of the um, like in the editor getting the experience set up there. That might be helpful to give you a scaffolding. And then uh, yeah. as we've been doing, like you come in and, and bring the big guns to do some of the, uh, the the deep tech stuff. So I think that's um, yeah, that'd be a great process if we want to do that. I would say, you know, top priority, I guess, would be like figuring out what's going on with that bug. Hopefully it's not anything too crazy because the, the workflow that's working is working really well. Um, so we just have to figure out how to duplicate that across the other content types. And um, I think we'll be good there. Yeah. Cool. All right. So yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll say that's the priority for this next week. And then we, we can, um, we'll check in again. Let me uh, stop the recording unless there's anything else you need to say. No, there's nothing. Yeah. Okay.